Bizarre Egypt 9 Mysterious Archaeological Discoveries. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. When it comes to archaeology, few places capture the imagination like Egypt. The pyramids, the pharaohs, the mysteries. It's a place that just oozes history and intrigue. Today, we're venturing beyond the well-trodden tombs of kings to uncover some of the most bizarre and mysterious archaeological discoveries ever unearthed in the land of the pharaohs. So buckle up, grab your fedora, and get ready to explore the strange side of ancient Egypt. Picture this. You're an archaeologist excavating an ancient Egyptian site, and you come across something truly bizarre. Skeletons wearing cone-shaped hats. That's exactly what happened in Amarna, and it left experts scratching their heads. For years, these head cones were thought to be purely symbolic, something you'd see in paintings and hieroglyphs. But finding the real deal changes everything. These cones were found in graves, placed atop the skulls of ordinary individuals. They weren't made of solid material, but rather hollow shells. Theories started flying, from ancient air fresheners to religious symbols. One idea is that these cones were worn by dancers, as both skeletons found with them had spinal fractures. The true purpose of these head cones remains one of ancient Egypt's most intriguing enigmas. Whatever the answer, these head cones remind us there's still so much we don't know about the lives of everyday Egyptians. They say you can't judge a book by its cover, and the same goes for ancient Egyptian sarcophagi. For over 150 years, a coffin in Sydney, Australia, sat in a museum labeled as empty. It belonged to a high priestess named Mernithidis, who lived around 600 BC. But when they finally opened it, guess what they found? Mummy remains. Looters had ransacked her tomb, making off with most of her burial goods and a good portion of her remains. Only about 10% of her mummy was left behind. This unexpected discovery has given researchers a unique opportunity to learn more about Mernithidis and her times. Let's talk bling, ancient Egyptian style. At Tapasiris Magna, archaeologists unearthed a 2,000-year-old mummy with a tongue made of solid gold. Experts believe embalmers placed the golden tongue in the deceased's mouth to ensure they could speak to the gods in the afterlife. This gilded mummy wasn't alone. It was found among 16 other burials, all dating back to the Ptolemaic and Roman periods. Our golden-tongued friend also had golden decorations depicting Osiris, the god of the underworld. Statues found near the deceased had stern expressions, far from welcoming. It seems that even with a golden tongue, navigating the afterlife was no walk in the park. This discovery is a testament to the ancient Egyptians' belief in the afterlife and their elaborate burial practices. They spared no expense, even providing the deceased with a golden voice to plead their case before the gods. Egypt, land of the afterlife, and mummified pets. We all know the ancient Egyptians loved their cats, but a discovery in 2018 took this fascination to a new level. At the Saqqara Necropolis, archaeologists found a treasure trove of mummified animals, not just cats. Birds, cobras, crocodiles, and even the first ever discovered mummified lion cubs. This menagerie dates back to Egypt's 26th dynasty and sheds light on the Egyptians' belief in the interconnectedness of animals and the divine. Mummifying animals wasn't just about keeping Fluffy around in the afterlife. These animals were often seen as divine entities or offerings to the gods. The discovery of the lion cubs was unprecedented. Out of the 75 animal mummies found, these cubs were unique. The ancient Egyptians' relationship with animals went far beyond simple companionship. These creatures played an integral role in their religious beliefs and practices. The case of the misidentified mud mummy Sometimes even archaeologists get it wrong, and this next discovery is a prime example. A 3,400-year-old mummy encased in a hardened mud shell turns up in a coffin, but it's not the coffin it's supposed to be in. This mud-caked mummy was a victim of the chaotic 19th-century mummy trade. Mud was a cheaper alternative to resin. 
suggesting our mud-covered friend might not have been from the wealthiest echelon of Egyptian society. The wrong coffin was likely a clever ruse by an unscrupulous dealer to increase the value. By pairing a high-status coffin with a mummy, they could fetch a higher price. The true identity of this mud-shrouded individual remains a mystery. It's a reminder that behind every artifact, there's a story sometimes involving a little bit of intrigue and a whole lot of mud. Feathered Phantom, the Extinct Goose of Ancient Egypt You might not think of ancient Egyptian art as a window into prehistoric wildlife, but that's exactly what we have with the Medum Geese painting. This 4,600-year-old masterpiece depicts a species of goose that's extinct. For years, these frescoes puzzled researchers. Was this some mythical creature, a figment of the artist's imagination? Enter Dr. Anthony Romilio, an evolutionary biologist, who cracked the case. He identified the unique patterned plumage of the geese in the painting as belonging to a real, now extinct species. This wasn't some fantastical beast, but a real bird that once waddled the earth alongside the ancient Egyptians. This discovery is a testament to the power of art as a historical record. The Maidam geese painting isn't just a beautiful piece of art. It's a snapshot of ancient biodiversity. It reminds us that the natural world is constantly changing. Sometimes the only evidence we have of what once was is captured in the strokes of a paintbrush. So, the next time you admire a piece of ancient art, remember you might be looking at a record of life on Earth, frozen in time. Secrets of the Stacked Coffins In 2020, archaeologists in Saqqara unearthed 13 wooden coffins, stacked one atop the other, in a 36-foot-deep burial shaft. These coffins, dating back to 500 BC, weren't just any old wooden boxes. They were incredibly well-preserved, with vibrant colors still visible after all those centuries underground. The biggest mystery is how they remained in such pristine condition. What preservation techniques did the ancient Egyptians use to protect these wooden chambers from the ravages of time? Each coffin holds the potential for new discoveries, new insights into the lives and deaths of those who lived in ancient Egypt. It's a reminder that beneath the sands, countless secrets await, patiently waiting for their moment to be revealed. Queen Kentkaus III and the Doomsday Prediction the tomb of Queen Kentkaus III, dating back 4,500 years, might hold clues to a doomsday scenario, climate change. The ancient Egyptians faced their own environmental challenges. Queen Kentkaus III's burial coincides with a period of significant drought and social upheaval that led to the collapse of the Old Kingdom. Researchers excavating her tomb unearthed artifacts and inscriptions that paint a grim picture of the time. Drought led to famine, which in turn led to social unrest and political instability. The very foundations of the old kingdom were shaken, and eventually, it crumbled. The story of Queen Kentkaus III serves as a stark reminder that climate change is not a new phenomenon. It's a challenge that civilizations have faced throughout history, and its consequences can be devastating. The Hyksos, Invaders or Immigrants for centuries, the Hyksos were painted as the villains of ancient Egyptian history, foreign invaders who conquered and ruled Egypt for a period. But recent discoveries have challenged this narrative, suggesting that the Hyksos' story is far more nuanced. These so-called invaders were actually migrants from the Near East who gradually integrated into Egyptian society before eventually rising to power. They didn't storm the gates of Egypt. They assimilated, adopting Egyptian customs, beliefs, and even names. The Hyksos, it seems, were not a conquering force, but rather a group that embraced and was embraced by Egyptian culture. Their rise to prominence highlights the fluidity of identity in the ancient world. The Hyksos' story is a testament to the interconnectedness of cultures, even in antiquity. Until next time, keep exploring! So there you have it, folks, nine of the most bizarre and mysterious archaeological discoveries from the land of the pharaohs. Which discovery blew your mind? Let me know in the comments below. 
And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on our next adventure.